Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Hot Kitchen. Um, today is a five day, so the family day. And today I don't have to cook. I just help. I just help uh, pep a little bit. So and then I have uh, someone cook for me. And we having Mexican food today, and we have a lot, a lot of food today. And I so I just want to show you the what we're going to do today. I already pep some, and I already eat some, but. Because if I if I film the whole thing is gonna be a lot, but I want to just talking to you guys and show you guys what we eat today, and this is um like a home cook, home making, and really really good. So today we have the this is a uh, We have suvije, and it's really really good. I already eat a lot a lot of this suvije. So when we waiting for the there's some more food coming, some tacos, some Mexican rice, and okay. So I just going to show you real quick what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're gonna do taco night tonight, five day with taco Surf night. Surf taco night. Yeah. And we have the two different trim. They both trim, and we're gonna grill them. And this one, what spicy? Yeah, that's that's uh, spicy chili, and this one is. Cilantro lime. Cilantro, Cilantro lime. lime. So oh, we look. Put That's more, good. A little bit more lime in there. I didn't want to put it earlier, so I didn't want to cook it. She don't want to show her face. Oh, well, I'm showing the back of her head. <laughs> She's alright. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. a lot of barriers. She don't want, she don't want to show her face. Home. Yeah, but yeah. This is gonna be really good. We marinate this hold, about hold like we marinate this about like two hours hold ago. Right there. Hold it right there. We, um, she put the lamb, cilantro, garlic. Um, lamb, cilantro, garlic, and what else? Salt, yeah, and the seasoning. Uh, in this one, we have cilantro, lime, uh, olive oil, mm -hmm. uh, some goya. Yeah, this one, oh my god, I'm gonna have to go buy this and, um, and put in my pantry. I just find out. On goya. Yeah, and this, so I learned a lot of new things today too. So, so I'm gonna have to buy this and put it in my pantry. I really, really like how the how no, smell. No, I got it for you. It's in your pantry now. Okay. <laughs> it's in your pantry. So now I have maybe more. <laughs> buy more. Okay. So and then this um uh, this a spicy one. Yep, got it. They have a chili powder, um, paprika. cilantro, paprika, onion. garlic, onion. onions. Onion. Yeah. Who's everybody yeah. in your house helping you? Today, we have the, I'm, we I'm have the, the cameraman's brother and brother-in-law to the chef. Yeah, no, um, I and <laughs> and I am the future sister-in-law. Ah. <laughs> 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 yeah. This is the chef's brother. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this will be good. Okay, That's You guys know who I am. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and for the beef asada, we're just doing easy today. We just bought uh, from the store. It's already mined. It's easy. So it's we got it at the Mexican market. Yes, yes. So yes. it's already pre-marinated. Yeah, and mm, I will show you all the ingredients again when we cooking. When we cooking, so we'll see it better. And also, we also have like really really good pot here from the the local the mexican grocery store so they just make this uh, today just really really fast and soft and yeah so we're gonna have the good night tonight usually i slice it inside the skin but i'm not gonna do that right now because we want it really thin to put inside the coleslaw mm. but you do it before you used to like it inside that too and then we're just gonna slice them really thin no, yep. Very thin. Put it all. Yeah, we have one. This is one avocado. Okay, and they're going to go inside the kosra, which have the cilantro, cashews. Then we like. We're gonna put some olive oil. Okay. And we're gonna put some lime juice that we already squeezed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this one, she will teach me how to make the Spanish right. So this is a like a, a low, low heat, low heat, lower yeah, than this. Okay. Maybe, yeah, right there. Okay. And then uh, we put the olive oil. Mm -hmm. We put like about three tablespoon, three yeah. four tablespoon. And mm -hmm. I'm going to add the 
Onion. How how many I have to add the onion? Um, so Half? we're doing two cups of rice. Yeah. I would say maybe a quarter or a third cup of rice okay. or a onion. Okay. So this one a little more. This one a little bit more. Yeah. There you go. Okay. This there one. You go. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm gonna let them cook. It's like slow, yes, slow cook. Because you wanted to get translucent. Okay. Right. See, I learned. Maybe a little bit more. A little actually. bit more. Yeah. A little bit more. We might as well throw the garlic in there right now too. Yep. Get all the garlic. See, we have a we already, onion and we, we have already the chopped and put the garlic and the onions together. Mm. So we're gonna use them right now. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's all. So we're gonna leave it on low. It's probably gonna take maybe 10 minutes to get them translucent. A little bit slower, but I will bring out all the flavor from the onion and from the garlic and we don't want to you don't have to be too, that close to me don't <laughs> you, will, you will see <laughs> don't be in a hurry you want to yeah. go slow you have to go slow you have to go slow for this because the, all the flavors okay so it's the gonna aromatics be aromatics and everything change yes with time all right so we're gonna add some flavor it's not going to be hot i know they're jalapenos they're supposed to be hot but what we are going to do is put a hole in the jalapeno on each side and one on each side, right? Yeah. And then we just put it in and let it get the flavor. It's not going to be hot. Just want the flavor from the jalapeno. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and now I um, saute the garlic jalapeno and the onion for a while until the they open up all the flavor like she told me now we're gonna turn up the heat okay she turned me she told me turn up the heat high and we're going to add uh, two cup the rice Not so high siri put oh. it maybe medium oh okay still medium sorry <laughs> still medium so before it was kind of low to saute the onion yeah all right mm -hmm. now we're gonna add two cup rice Two cup. Today I use the. I didn't use the jasmine rice. I use the long grain rice. Okay. I use two cup. And, and I'm still medium, right? Like, you don't want to stir the rice a lot. Okay. You just want to let it brown. Okay. So I just like gonna. When I when I when I going to stir. No, them. that's fine. Yeah, no. You want to coat it with the oil. Okay. Like you want to get it in there and coat okay. it. Okay. Oh, but not stir too much. Yeah, but oh, not okay. stir too much. Okay. And then when I add the seasoning, and when not, the, when you're gonna add the seasoning, when the rice starts to turn white color. Okay. 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 So we're gonna add the seasoning when the rice starts changing the color. <laughs> Okay, and now the rice starts changing color. Okay. See. We don't want it to be black or like necessarily brown, but see how the rice like looks white? If you yeah. can get close up, you can see how some of it looks white and some of it looks like just off white color. You want it to be kind of that white color and maybe a little bit of caramelized. And then we're gonna add some seasoning. The goya, seasoning. Some goya. Yeah. All purpose goya with cumin. Yeah. And it has salt, so we're not gonna put salt because this has salt. Okay. We're gonna put this. Alright. And we're gonna put some of the pollo, the chicken powder. Okay. Because I don't have the on. chicken oh, yeah. broth still in the frozen. I didn't take them out, so we have to use the this chicken one powder. This sounds like where's the box? I use this one tablespoon or two? Two. Two. I use two tablespoons. For two cups. Nice. So this is this. This is the Saison Goya. And we're gonna just put that one in. One package. One package. If you use too many, your rice will look fluorescent orange. <laughs> yeah. And we mix them. Yeah. Okay. So I steaming a lot of Mexican rice because there's a oh I'm really really want to learn to how to make this Mexican rice so that's why I really steam a lot the how to make the Mexican rice. Though. So yeah. now we're gonna add the um, you can either put tomato sauce and chicken broth or water. Today we use water and we start with usually the way you're going to measure it is 
If you use one cup of rice, you're gonna use a quarter cup of tomato sauce and then the rest water. Okay. And so. today we use two cups of rice, so we use a half a cup of the tomato sauce and then uh, total with the water. Four, yeah, total so four, you want four, four cups. cups of liquid. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay. okay, we need a cover. And then we're not going to stir it a lot. You don't want to yeah. stir it a lot. You're just going to want to mix it in. Okay. And then we're going to put a top on it. Yeah. Lid. Let me go look for the lid. <laughs> I'm going to cover. And this cover. And we're going to cover. I think about like 30 minutes or 35 minutes. Maybe 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. We're gonna check it as we go and we'll okay. see. Not cause... open, not open. Okay, just no, no, let no. us cover. You don't want to open it a lot. Yeah. We, we come back and check. You need to get one of these dust pans too. Okay. <laughs> I mean the one that picks it up. We'll put, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put the link down below. <laughs> in the bio. <laughs> link in the bio. Friday. All I do today is pepper. We pre-made some pico de gallo. Oh yeah, we some of that is gonna go in the rice when it's done. Okay. We have bell peppers, all colors: red, orange, yellow, green. We have red onion. We have garlic, and then we also have jalapenos in here. This is a jalapeno, actually. Okay. So we're gonna put a in the pan and we're just gonna let them like mm. cook down until they're soft. Like fajita style maybe. Yeah, but this for taco, right? Yeah, we well, because you can put it in tacos if you want. Yeah. And if you're vegan, you can make a vegan taco with it. Yeah. And that one we will put corn. See, we're gonna put corn inside this yeah. pan. Do you wanna brown the corn? So we're gonna put it in hot and we're gonna like fry it a little bit yeah we use the sweet corn we use the fresh corn but we um we got um, corn on the cob and we cut it off yeah we, we figured out it's easy to eat so. This is rice. This is rice in here. I don't have the lid to fit that to that pan, so I use a really, really big. I always spill it. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I spilled it. Okay, and I'm going to come out here to uh, filming. This is my backyard. I didn't do anything yet. I didn't do anything yet, so now then uh, start to grilling, start the barbecue. So I filmed this myself, so I hope I'm doing good. <laughs> the cameraman didn't want to do it, so, so I do it. Okay, so we have the dip, we have a sada grill, and we're gonna grill the shrimp. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, thank you, Dan. You're welcome. All right, and she adds the, uh, the onion. A little bit of onion yeah. inside for flavor. And then we're gonna put it, so we have five ears of corn. Yeah. And then we're gonna put maybe a tablespoon each of these, the pollo, the chicken flavor, and then the all-purpose goya. Yeah. And then we're gonna put that in there in a little bit. We wanna get this a little bit brown. Okay. Mm. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cameraman. The he didn't want to. Yes. Where's your mayonnaise? Okay. You need a lot or no? Like behind, behind there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I see. And if not enough, I have another. No, I have, that's fine. I have a new one. This is the. No, yeah. that's fine. We need to put mayonnaise in the street corn along with that, that. We need some chili powder. Yeah, inside it. inside the cabinet. See, now you guys can see all my, where I put my stuff. This yeah. is all the cabinet. So, 
I don't want it to be super Back hot because pop. mom doesn't like oh, hot, yeah. so I'm going to put paprika instead and maybe just a little bit of chili powder. Just okay. I can do a kitchen tour again. Oh, and then this is the uh, beef done. Then just being inside the the asada. Mm. Yeah. He's going to put the trim right now, so I better come and look. We cut the trim that we mine it. We, we do mine it, the trim. If you want me to do the recipe, I can um, do the recipe again. I can cook this again um, by a learning from her and I can make this recipe again. Yeah, but today we not really do really exactly the recipe because we do the family style cooking today and I just want to share with you guys. So. And I don't have to cook today. Yay. I just have <laughs> my day off for cooking. I just um, helping, pepping, a little bit learning. Yep, that's a spicy one. Yeah, this is the hot one. This is the hot one. I'm not really good at you that this new camera yet. Um, but I'm going to try. I zoom in right now. Yeah, I zoom in. Mm, look at how big that trim. We bought a big one. I see Dan buy the big one. So now he put the lemon and cilantro flavored in. Yeah. Okay, now he's gonna cover. Okay. And these trash. Corn start getting wild, so I go back and forth to filming outside and inside. So now when I come back, now the corn start getting wild. And then we're going to add, I put, um, we will announce about a tablespoon of this, a tablespoon of that. I put, uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon of chili powder because we don't want it too hot because mom doesn't like hot. And then the rest is paprika. And we're going to throw that in there. And then I'm going to put one of those season, season, oh, I'm going to put one of those too. Mmm, 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 popping, popping. I know, popcorn, we're making popcorn. 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 <laughs> so, it's gonna turn red a little bit. I See, it starts uh, to look like uh, the sweet corn now when you add the seasoning. Yeah. And this is like, you can grill this corn on the cob, but it's harder to eat, so this is easier to just eat with a fork or whatever. Yeah. So you'll see where all of the seasonings have burned to the bottom of the pan. You want to scrape them and mix it in with your corn. Yeah. That's the flavor. Because favorite. that's all the flavor right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're helping. You're helping. <laughs> you're helping. Are you ready to finish the corn? Okay. Yeah. What we're going to do. Okay. okay. So we're going to put all the spices in. We're going to put um, cilantro. We're going to put some cilantro. And we might have too much, so I'm not going to use it all. Yeah. And then we have some mayonnaise. We're going to okay. put, we have four ears, of, five ears of corn. So we're probably just going to use maybe three, nah, one, one and a half tablespoons is what that looks like. Yeah. And we're going to mix it in, right? That's what I'm looking for. That's look really good right now. Yeah, right? And all this recipe, I can remake them. I can remake them because today I learned so I can remake them. Just by watching. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to put, this is cotija cheese. Okay. This comes in around like plastic like this yeah the mexican the yeah the mexican cotilla cheese and then we're just going to put it on top yeah i'm just going to sprinkle it on top right if you want to use parmesan parmesan is good too okay i'm not really good in this crema not really good in this crema <laughs> i had to try look look at that mm. oh. that right there 
Yeah, look at this. And then we got the tahita vegetables. Yeah, that's look done to me. The rice is done Ooh, now. Oh, look at the what rice. What we're gonna do with the rice next is we're gonna throw some pico de gallo in it. Okay. And mix it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everything that you see today, if you want me to, I can leave do the recipe one by one one by one so you can um see exactly how much oh look at that trim oh. i don't have um, the chance to go out and filming the trim when they're cooking i just filming uh, the beginning when um he's put it in but look at it um now the trim done we will look at the trim look at the trim come over here yeah the trim gonna be in the table or in the kitchen? Okay. Table. table. So we have a cheese on the table right now and we have the trim. Okay. And we have the drink. Um, flavored water. <laughs> really? Flavored water. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna squeeze some, a little bit of lime on it. Oh, yep. This Mexican food is only a cilantro, ram, These chili, limes are a little bit, tough. Jalapeno. Yeah. Not, they're not so juicy, but. We're gonna make it work. And you can see I put some pico de gallo on top of the rice and we're gonna mix it in. Yeah. I like a lot of cilantro in my rice, so. Mm. Okay, now he left the beef rice and now he's cutting the beef. Okay. And we're gonna make the Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Hey, hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. I just woke up. I'm cranky, mommy. Alright, so we're going to make a coleslaw for yeah. the shrimp tacos, right? Two cups of cabbage, maybe a cup of cilantro. Yeah. But we want to mix the sauce first, so I'm going to put a little bit of sour cream. I don't know how to yeah. tell you what to measure because I don't measure things. So we're going to do that. And we're going to put some lime juice. Yep. Sour cream, lime juice. Yes, like I'm saying, like we can uh, create all this recipe again one by one. If you want me to, I can do that. And then she put the seasoning. Maybe a teaspoon. Yeah. I'll probably put a tablespoon of oil. The olive oil. Okay. And then I got cumin for it, but I'm not going to put cumin because this one has cumin in it. Yeah. But I think we want a little bit more. I'm actually going to put a little bit more. And then I need to stir it. Stir, stir, stir. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay. It's going to be a little bit dark in the kitchen. Might be a little bit too dark today because I didn't set up all the lights. I just have one light over there on the corner. So, um, might be a little bit darker than normal the, when I'm filming. And then, so also this is like 5 o'clock, so on the evening. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. I think I so. record it and I didn't record it and sometimes I think I <laughs> it's gonna be like <laughs> I don't know because uh, this grandma isn't oh, wet it's, it's very new to me so I just only usually cook not filming okay no, the rice so is now done. we're going to finish all what we have to do to finishing all this food so and then i will filming again on the table when we sit down and eat okay okay we're gonna put the cabbage cilantro and avocado inside the sauce make the okay i didn't uh, measure it, everything but i can redo everything again okay just let me know which one that you want to see and then i will I will make it for you guys. Okay, so now just let them finish the cooking and we're gonna see you again when we sit down and eat. Okay. So we change, oh, my favorite. <laughs> Somebody still, is somebody still in? <laughs> mm. Okay, so now dinner time, everything right. done. And Legit. I also have the dessert too. Yeah. The cake 
uh, what's it called again? Tres leches. Yeah, thank you. So, how this? We got one? three milk cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three milk cake here. All right, we're gonna start eating now. All right. Let's, Let's do it. 